Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and Isle Delfino is finally looking brighter and seeing brighter days. We're gonna go and continue onward through Sirena Beach. Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Yeah, this is the where I think the level where things start to get more complicated and tricky. Um just because I can go I can go through the main shines okay, but there are I mean I just did the red coin one to practice it yesterday and it took me forever to get in. It's it's not even like it's it's hard but it's I don't know. It's hard but it's not exceedingly difficult, but still it's it was a pain in my ass. It's about forty five steps from there to there, wouldn't you say? I'm not counting. Be all these guys, even though they've been checked in, now they want to sit on the beach. I guess it's the fact that they couldn't do something that pissed them off. Yes, everybody's just relaxing. Which, I wouldn't blame them. I would relax here, too. But let's go talk to the owner. Ah, oh, dear Mario, please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Come now, don't dawdle. Totally different voice. Oh, well. Well, the ghosts are gone. But that doesn't mean that the problems are over. And there's Yoshi! Cool! They need a pineapple. Let's go get one. You go over to the fruit stand, and there's no pineapples here. What? We can't have Yoshi? Well, he's right there! Why would they put Yoshi in this level if you can't feed him with the fruit he wants? He's always going to want pineapple no matter what. So don't reset the shine sprite thinking that'll fix things, but because it, it doesn't. But actually... <laughs> Here's, a, here's one of the snobs. I lost it when I heard this was a four-star resort. I mean, come on. Water damage in the restrooms that is so low class. Okay, water damage is inevitable sometimes, okay? Don't be a snob. But yeah, there's water damage, and you can see it up there. I don't know what it is, but let's go find out. Because actually, if you jump right there, you can just come right up. For a while, I thought you had to hover, but actually you don't need to do that. You can just stand on, on that platform and get up there. I get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting. But you want to know what I find even creepier than that? Imagining how you got in here. Magic. You squirt this painting. And the ghosts have not left this hotel completely. Because they're going to run around telling you there's a ghost. Which is easy to tell because of this coin. And we got him through the wall. That's fine. There's another one who just went in there. There he is. Actually, there's two of them. So we'll just go ahead and jump on them. I like how you can jump on them in this game. Squirt this closet wardrobe-like area. To make another ghost appear. And you'll find it's not a closet at all. It's a bathroom very more luxurious bathroom with with what looks like a window to the outside which would be so amazing of course I'd rather it be on a top floor not on the first floor jump up here jump jump up jump up there that was bullshit you know it yeah the jumping in this is pretty awkward right there but it gets worse it's just basically you're just navigating through secret passageways in this place now, where did I put that thing? Hey, have you seen a pineapple anywhere around here? Dude, you have a pineapple? Where is it? Another painting? Or, actually, it's a place. But she really, all that's in there is a blue coin. We're not going to go for that. We're actually going to ground pound here. And we see another ghost coin. Screw you. And there's a ghost that you actually can't jump on. He's just sleeping there. He won't move. But, if you ground pound that box, you will get a pineapple. Again, I'm still sick of pineapples right now. But, we can finally ride Yoshi, which is amazingly awesome. Yay! But now we're going to retrace our steps and get back to where that sleeping boot was. There we go. But yeah, Yoshi's jumps are really awkward in this. I have to say, I really did not like it at times in the camera... Dude, the camera likes to just angle on its own. Like, right now. See? And I like to keep it on this view, because otherwise I get confused. Oh, shit. See, I'm telling you, and you can't... You can't... 
Like, you can't, like, do the side jump, which is, you know, it's... After a while, it becomes almost natural. A natural feeling, and then Yoshi... Yoshi, really? Do you have to be this stupid? Great. This will be better. I'm telling you, this is, like, one of... Dude! I, like, barely am pushing the control stick. Okay. What the fuck? This is, like, the worst part in the entire shine right here, is getting up to this damn hole in the ceiling. There we go. Wasn't that hard. But, actually, no, because one of the worst is getting up here. Is it really? Actually, I don't think it is, but... Wait. Sorry, dude. Yeah, we gotta go down here. Because Yoshi can get rid of them. That's just another blue coin. Damn it! Okay, never mind. I just made it harder for us. Because now we have to get back up here again. And that can be annoying. Especially when it gets in the corner of that box there. And then you can't just... You can't get up there. It's a very awkward control scheme. And I hate it. <sighs> Like, I'm pushing down to try to go under, and it's not working. Wait a minute. You can't move crates in this game. Fuck. This is where the rocket nozzle really could have been useful. I'm almost half tempted to just go through the entire thing again. There's probably a tip that I don't know about with Yoshi to make this easier, but... Jeez. Because you, if you spin, that's the only way you're going to gain height. There we go. Now we got to do it again. There we go. That was easy. Err. God. Why you got to be such a little bitch, Yoshi? Now we got to navigate up here. Thankfully, Yoshi doesn't go anywhere when you do that. You should have enough juice. Because yeah, when you, Yoshi's juice gauge goes down... You have to... He'll, he'll just basically die. I'm not sure which of these is the right one. I think it's that one, actually. But na navigating up here like this would be, I think, impossible. But I think this is the right one. Crack here. Yes, it is! Get in the pool to get the shine sprite. Because any other way, you won't be allowed in. Because this guy will block you saying you need swim attire. Hey, you! Don't want to pull without proper swimwear! Well, screw you, dude. There we go. Eight minutes for that. That's actually not that bad, though. I mean, well, like I said, these shines are going to... It's a little more difficult. They're going to take longer to do. Which, I, I mean, I think so, anyway. But today is actually, yes, I'm recording on the same day as I'm posting. This is Monday. And I want to say, you know, for those of you who started school today, I wish you a very productive year. The Secret of Casino Delfino. Okay. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of school at times, but I always loved the first day back. You know, new, new clothes, new school things, like new book bags, new everything. Just a fresh start. I always liked that. Of course, a week later, I was like, all right, I'm done. Ah, those days are over, at least for right now. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really can't. I'm sitting here in jeans and a sweater because it's actually cool in my house with the air conditioning. It's kind of nostalgic. Well, now, Mario, you really should drop by the casino. I'll let my boys know you're coming. Go on now. Yeah, I, actually, the time I'm playing this game, I'm actually old enough to gamble now. I think the last time I played this game, I wasn't. Cool. <laughs> Even though I think, yeah, the gambling age, I think, is 18. Not that that matters. Ah, Mario, right this way, please. Alright, let's go gamble, guys. Sorry. It's actually really cool, though. It's a huge casino, but it takes a while just to get to the actual level, like where the shine, part of the level where the shine is. But we're just gonna start off by playing the slots. That's probably the only thing I would ever be good at. Okay. Um, wait a minute. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm not sure. Oh, do you have to make it? Oh, never mind. Because usually... Oh, I see. 
I was about to say, I'm like, usually you're supposed to get three coins, but maybe that's the other slot machine, because there's two on, one on each side of the room. Bull. There we go. Yay! Nothing for that? That's bullshit. Now we gotta go do this one. I would talk to all these guys, that would probably take time. Too much time anyway. They probably don't, I don't think they really tell you anything too important. Ah, uh, coin. Really? Yeah, imagine doing a 100 coin run in this area, getting 100 coins. It would take hours. I don't want a coin! Don't want that either. You won't get anything for that ghost. Come on. No. And you can't you can't change it either. I don't Okay, I'd rather do that. Dude. <sighs> so you have to make you have to make both of them do have seven, and then that's not even over yet. Like, damn it. No coin. Okay, look. In real life, yes, I would like coins, but right now I want the seven. Actually, I want the seven in real life, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, it won't stay. I forgot. Screw you. Damn ghost. Actually, like I said, the ghosts, I think, are pretty cute in this game. Stop it! And you get a water bottle. Cool. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen that in this LP yet. That's just refilling your water gauge when there's no water around. No. More. Ah! No! Come on! I may have to start cutting if this gets ridiculous. That's a funny thing. Like, since Paper Mario, I've been so used to not really cutting much out. Of course, if I go back to any other RP RPGs, that will obviously go come back into play. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Stop with the ghosts! Oh my god! I'm like hitting the side of my chair. This is annoying. Come on. <sighs> Any other time, this would not take forever to do. Come on. No coin. Am I doing something wrong here? Probably. Alright, you know what? If I don't get it next time, I'm cutting. I've decided. Nope! Alright, cutting now. Yeah! There we go. I actually went and spoke to that guy just to see if he would say anything. And must have been a good luck charm. Yay! Now we have to do this crap. This is probably not... This is probably not... It's just equally as sucky. What you have to do is get all these tiles to reveal the shine sprite. And if you notice, there's something back there. So we have to get all this crap. There's probably a better way to do this. I would have to go through and stop that. <sighs> yeah, like I said, there's probably a better way to do this. There's probably a certain way you have to spray this to make it all come over come out, but I've never done it that way. Stop. It sucks when there's just one. There we go. Precision is key. Ah! No! F! Man. Hell, this might just be... I might have to cut when I get to the actual spot, which sucks. I don't want to do that. Ugh. This is really ridiculous. I never like this part at all. I'm sure, no, I'm sure that there's very few people that actually do like this. If any. Stop it! I will take I will take this over the blue coin though. At least I think so. The blue coin hell that we went through back in Rico Harbor. And then of course I found the right way to do it. I couldn't believe I missed that. <sighs> Stop being a jackass. I 
wasn't even freaking squirting there. Stop! Oh my god. <sighs> no. Dude, there we go. I'm like barely touching it and it does that. Are you serious? Okay, I don't know who invented this part of that, but it, you know, it shouldn't be this particular, really. Because even the music after a while becomes a little redundant. <sighs> okay, alright, 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 alright. Please, please, please. Please. No! Okay, two. I can. Three? F. This is really... 16 minutes? Come on. Can I at least open the area? In this video, please? Please? Okay, really? Actually, you know what? Again, I'm just gonna cut. Oh, and it, of course, when I say that, I don't need to, because it was right there. I'm sorry for all the boring crap that you guys probably just had to witness. <sighs> okay, 17 minutes. Okay, I'm going to give this one try. If I don't get it, then I will go ahead and stop the episode. Which sucks, because I don't want to do that. But this one I don't think is that complicated, but... <sighs> I, again, I haven't played it in a while, so let's see how that works. Now, I haven't done the um, red coin. Like, I haven't practiced this red coin bit yet, but I have. Like, I read in the guide that you actually just get a minute to do it, so I'm a little nervous about that. Okay, this part shouldn't be too hard. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, it's just like back at Bianco Hills. That's not bad. So, we just jump on these. It's not bad. <gasps> no! Oh my god! <sighs> no. Come on. Alright, there we go. There we go, there we go. We're almost there, almost there. Okay, now this thing. Again, just like Bianco Hills. Don't jump. Yes! Awesome! First try. That's definitely awesome. So I don't have to cut anymore or say that, oh, well, we gotta stop because I've run out of time. So there we go. <sighs> I feel a lot better now that we got that. That's at least some kind of, I think, compensation for all that boring crap. But it may not be. I don't know. But there we go. Um, two more shines in Sirena Beach. We're actually moving at a lot slower pace now. But I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.